Hello. Uh, I have here a video I'm presenting to all of you that uh, will hopefully encourage some uh, and help others that have tried to do or would like to do uh, mobile development, uh, kind of setting up your uh, Unreal uh, system for it because uh, your initial uh, attempts can be a little bit frustrating at times. Uh, and we have here just the the default top-down template. I selected this because uh, for like a, if I do a later video on anything, it's uh, the top-down template is a decent starting point for a mobile system because it's uh, the mouse inputs for when you play here uh, can be simulated by the touchscreen stuff very very easily. So that's why we're kind of using the top-down template to show this. So the first thing I want to talk about then is just basically how do we set up Unreal to package and test with mobile. Uh, and the reason for this is because it's not set up to do this by default. If you've uh, just recently installed Unreal or you've never done any mobile development, uh, you probably have encountered uh, issues doing this, uh, specifically with packaging. Let's Because uh, if we go over to Package Project, and anybody familiar with this uh, can try to go over to an Android, and we can pick one of our Android uh, packaging, and we'll immediately we will see that it opens up a Unreal documentation page to the main documentation site, and um, this is um, not necessarily useful. It's kind of like what just happened. Why didn't you try to package? If you go looking in your message log uh, or in your um, in your output log, it's not really going to tell you anything, anything useful as far as information goes. So it's one of those things that people that have tried this, I'm sure, have encountered this and gone, you know, WTF. So the reason it's doing this is that Unreal does not actually have the proper plugins already installed, uh, specifically CodeWorks. And what it's trying to do here, uh, what we're trying to do here then, when it opens up the Unreal documentation, is it's trying to get you to Android setup tutorial stuff. And for some reason, it shows up here uh, on the very front page for documentation. I don't know why. This might be a bug. But we can go over to platform development, uh, Android game development. Um, that's where I'm going to head up, uh, head down to. And installing CodeWorks for Androids and setting up your Android device for development are two very, very useful things. There's also an additional page here called Android Quick Start that kind of has all of that documentation in one one useful position. And we're going to go here, and this is spe specifically what we actually need to set up for the Unreal end so that we can actually package projects for uh, any Android stuff. Because you'll notice here, uh, it's basically telling us we have to install CodeWorks. And so you want to navigate to your Unreal Engine install directory. Uh, so wherever it's been installed, Engine, Extras, Android Works, Win64 folder, and then you want to run this file for the plugin. So we'll do that now and we'll navigate there. All right, just drag this onto the screen. So here is, uh, here's my C drive. Oop, there it is. Unreal Engine 4.24. Let's see, so we want Engine. Let me just minimize this a little bit so we can cap it above it. Uh, extras, Android Works, Win64, and then there is our there is our plugin. So I'll run this and it's going to pop open an installer for me. We want to go through this. And here we have our CodeWorks window for Android. Um, I'm just going to go with a standard package build. I'm not going to make any specific changes here. And I will need to accept my licenses to actually uh, to have this built. And we'll come back when this is actually finished. Okay, we're just about done with the installation here. We've had a few windows pop up during this installation process, but they've all kind of just done their own thing as they've been installing. All right, and that's it. So there's a long wait period after it installs. 
and we have to restart our computer technically to have everything run properly. So let me let's come right back after I uh, finish doing that. And so we're back now here after I restarted my computer. And we have one more step that we need to perform before we can really start packaging projects or even testing them out on like our actual devices, uh, at least on the Unreal end. The last thing we have to do is we're going to have to go to our project settings and we're going to have to accept the SDK license. I'm going to type in the top here SDK and we can see here that we have our APK packaging and we need to accept, uh, for our Android, we need to accept the SDK license for this. So you can read through this, agree to it, uh, and after I've agreed to it, uh, now I won't get any other errors when I actually package it. Because if you try to package it beforehand, you will get an error here. If you look at our message log, you'll get this error, license not accepted. SDK license must be accepted in the Android project settings to deploy your app to do a device. And so now we're good to go on our on our uh, Unreal end. The, the only other step so that you can start testing your mobile stuff, you can technically go here and instead of doing selected play mode for your testing, you can run yourself a, a mobile preview window. Uh, or you can do a, uh, if you have your device, you can we can actually launch directly to our device once we connect it to our computer. So let me first then explain how you set up your device, your Android device, uh, to actually to set your device in developer mode. Uh, we're gonna go back here to our Android quick start guide and the next step down here is showing the phone. So this is your phone setting and believe it or not, this is the super secret way you uh, accessed your developer options and you set it into that mode. You're gonna go to your settings and you're gonna click on the build number seven times. You're gonna get a warning uh, in the middle of doing this. Once you finish doing this, you will now have your phone in developer mode which will give you a new settings option that you're going to need to enable USB debugging. Uh, these, after this, you can now connect your device to your computer and you will have uh, the ability to basically install programs directly from your computer onto your phone. So this does kind of reduce the security of your device slightly so that you can actually develop with it. So let me go back to our Unreal project here. And so now we can actually uh, build our game as we were expecting it to. So if I go to package projects, I can select one of the packaging types, and then I can actually save it into my, uh, my builds. And it will build how we expected it to. And so now if we go inside of our build folder, we will find that we have two different files, uh, or four, but two uh, executables, an install and an uninstall. And it's important to note that you're gonna wanna have your phone connected and in USB debugging mode first, otherwise you could potentially encounter some errors. At least I have. You'll know it's actually working properly if you get a percent bar down here that starts running, uh, and this is it installing it to your, your phone. After that, the window should close, and you'll be able to run it on your uh, your phone. You'll find it in your uh, amongst your programs with the the same name as your uh, project file here. Hopefully, this has been a good introduction for how to set up your Unreal Engine for mobile development uh, and your phone. Uh, I very much recommend looking through the mobile game development portion of Unreal's documentation, as there are some there can be some specific questions regarding how to uh, develop for, for mobile and how to package for certain types of phones because there's a lot of phones out there and there are a lot of different requirements on their end for individual, um, individual packaging. Uh, for example, my phone won't actually run the ETC, uh, sorry, the, e the OpenGL ES 3.1. My phone has to use the legacy 2.0 uh, in order to actually run any of the Android stuff. So uh, you can encounter some issues here and there, and this uh, their documentation is going to be very, very good for kind of getting you uh, familiar with how to uh, develop for a mobile kind of platform. All right, thank you very much for watching.